Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to your army and look at the dark elixir that we have guys. So we were able to uh, get 9,235 dark elixir in kind of around a week, a week and a half, which I'm pretty happy about considering I haven't been farming completely for it. I'm really happy about it and we're doing really well. We're so close to being able to get our barbarian king. But one thing I have noticed is some people have attacked me recently and taken a little bit of my dark elixir. Now don't don't get me wrong, not much has gone like they, there's three, uh, but you can see what I did is I went and revenged them. Yes, I've been revenging everybody uh, except for this chap here that takes my loot, takes my dark elixir, I revenge them back to try and take it back, to try and regain it so we can run home. So, we're going to try and do a live raid here and do that exact thing. Uh, we're doing it against Scablaz, which is a very interesting name. I don't know if that's a real name. Uh, but we'll give it a go and see what's what. So most of his loot is in the center there. That's going to be really hard for us to get to. But obviously, the best thing about this is we can take out his town hall. And we can hopefully, if we if we don't get a star from that, I, I don't know what's going to happen. So, are you ready to do this? Let's go. So I've got with me a classic barbarians. No, I haven't. Whoa, I haven't got a classic. I'm using the wag attack. Oh my god, I am using the wag attack. Let's give it a go. So we're going to start off by throwing in our giant, uh, as you should, and then we're going to throw in our wall breakers. Now, one big thing that I'm going to do in this one is make sure that heal spell is used up greatly, so like to the best effect ever, which is, in my eyes, by putting it there would be the best place. That's if everybody goes forward to attack, which they are doing. Come on, let's go and get that. Let's go get that. Um, I don't know whether I should use that on there just to try and take that down. I don't want to snipe. Uh, I don't want to snipe Dark Elixir using lightning spells because when that's happened to me, I've like flipped and I've been so annoyed. So I'm trying not to do that, uh, as you can see, which is why I did this. Go on, wizard. Go on, go in. No, don't go for that. No, take the Dark Elixir. It is right there. It's right there. No. Um, yes, we got, <laughs> we got three. We got three Dark Elixir, everybody. No, that was so bad. That was such a bad attack. Man, I don't know whether I should just give up on this video and cry. <laughs> I can't believe that. We got three Dark Elixir and we weren't able to take him back. But the good thing is we were able to win because we got his Town Hall. We were able to take a little bit of loot, but I'm not going to wait for them to get that. But we got, we got three Dark Elixir. Yes! So he stole like 120 and we stole three, uh, which definitely isn't good. So the way I've been doing it... Uh, is I've been making sure to boost my Dark Elixir Drill. Now, obviously, you've got to be careful with your gems, but obviously, one of the best ways to get gems is by just removing these bushes. Now, on this account, we're not buying gems at all, so we've got to be careful for that. But if you wanted to buy gems, uh, you know where you can get them for free. Check out Freemoy Apps in the link. Oh, I just removed a, tr a present. Damn it. Oh, uh, there we go. Look at that. Five gems. If you want free gems, either do this or check out my link in the description to get free gems. Uh, there we go. We found a gem as well. So let's let that go. Hopefully we can get a few gems and we can get some troops ready for another live raid. But before we do that, I want to show you guys one of my revenges. So let's get this set up so that we have a classic barch, which is what I thought I was attacking with beforehand. Uh, but it turns out I wasn't. I was attacking uh, with a wag attack. We can also bring minions because we have the dark barracks completed now. But we're not going to do that because that's completely against the point of raiding for dark elixir by using dark troops. Um, so, yeah. Let's go. Uh, we have got a couple of replays to show you. Now, I can't show you this one down here, which was actually a really good one. Getting 492 Dark Elixir, the one before, after that, 288. This one here, we got none, uh, but it, I can't remember why I attacked this. I must have attacked it for a reason. Oh my god, yes! Ah, oh, I remember. This was revenge on the worst base in Clash of Clans. This is a newbie, newbie mistake. Please do not make this mistake. It's, to, uh, it's just dreadful. So, why is this base so bad off? Now, this person, Naresh, no hate on Naresh. Bless him, he's tried his best or her best um, to make a base. But you can spawn behind it. You can spawn behind it and... Um, 
it's just, uh, it's just dreadful. So this is basically how you win. I spawned in my giants and stuff, and it was like the easiest access ever. Now, lots of people may not have known that when they started Clash of Clans. It was like, oh, okay, well, so we can use like the corners as a, as a defense because the troops just drop in from the skies. But no, you can spawn them around the edges, and we're able to wipe through this base. I forgot about this. Ah, oh, this has got to be tight, video title worthy. Worst base in Clash of Clans history. It's just awful. I mean, un I understand, like, when you're starting out Clash of Clans, you might not know about it. But, I mean, this guy, this guy's been playing a bit. Hell, he's got a few gold walls. I'm not sure what Town Hall he was. I can't remember now. It was, like, Town Hall 6. So, you know, he should have known that by now. But I think it it's kind of an in inactive base now. And he got taken down. But... Now, Resh, it was just when I saw it, I just had to attack it. I'm so sorry. But that, guys, is officially the worst base that's meant to be a good base in Clash of Clans history. So, let's have a look then. So, these actually weren't too bad. You can see we've got a couple of good revenges. Now, this one I got 32 trophies, 32 cups for. But on offering, there was a huge 48 cups. Uh, but obviously, this was all about getting that Dark Elixir again. So, we start off at the top of the base. It's a pretty cool looking base. It's kind of like a... Like a dreidel. Uh, I don't know if a dreidel is a Jewish thing or something, but it's like a dreidel that you spin around. I'm not sure if it's meant to look like that, uh, but that's what I what I see when I look at it. But I thought that was quite a cool looking base. So we attack from the top because he has his Dark Elixir pump up here. Uh, drill even, but there's hardly any in that, so it's not really worth it. There was seven in that whole drill. But I thought at least this way we'll be able to take out the town hall, and hopefully we'll miss those two wizard towers down the bottom there. So barbarians, archers, giants... Wizards and a few wall breakers thrown in the town hall starting getting hit as well by the wizards in the center And they just start piling in now these kind of these ridges almost funnel them in which is quite nice and start destroying the outside Defenses, but at this point I was actually pretty worried that we weren't going to take the loot in the middle But in come my archers the archers go for the gold storage They take that down and then they start working on the dark elixir here, which is brilliant we drop the Dark Elixir, we get it all, we get all of ours back. Now, I don't know how much Dark Elixir he stole from me, but I don't think he stole that much. So, we probably got back everything that we lost, and then we were able to go around, get as much of that Elixir as possible, and end up with a 2-star. But as I said, if we would have got a 3-star, we could have got a huge 40, I think it was 48 or something, uh, cups, trophies, which would be insane. But sadly, we can't do that, and sadly, that is not going to happen. So let's go look at one more of our replays that we've got here. This was a huge comeback. We brought back a massive 490. Now obviously, again, I'm going, look at that. Look at that hole. That's where the Tesla comes from. The hole! <laughs> but uh, we were able to get the Dark Elixir from this one. But he actually had a lot of loot, but this is a lot higher base than I would usually attack. Anyway, I spawn up one Barbarian just to see if there was anything there. And then I throw in one Giant to get any traps. So there we go. Two bombs triggered. Oh, Always a good thing to test if you think there are going to be them. Because if there was a spring trap there, that could have thrown off like three giants, which we would not have wanted. So in go the giants, followed by a few barbarians, which I have, and a couple of wall breakers. A perfect drop heal spell there to heal everybody up. Really, really vital when you're going for that dark elixir because they're usually heavy protected. In come some more giants, some more archers, a few wizards around the back as well. And we start pressing into it. You can see I focus my troops very heavily on that entrance point there, which works nicely. They do get hit by mortars, though, uh, but at least it kind of funnels them into, like, areas that I want them to go. And we start taking out the clan castle, and then they're really close to getting that Dark Elixir, but nobody's getting it yet. There we go. That lone archer knows what we're here for. She knows what we're doing, which is awesome. So she starts taking that down. The giants all start dying, and at this point, I'm not going to lie, I started to get worried. But luckily, the wizards come in and help, as always. The wizards are heroes, and they start taking that Dark Elixir, because I thought the mortars were going to wipe my... Uh, troops clean, but we took the Dark Elixir down, which was very good indeed. In come some wizards uh, to start taking away that Mortar Tower. Uh, or just Mortar. Do you call it Mortar Tower? I don't know. No, I think it's just called a Mortar. And we're on 47%. So at this point, I'm pretty worried. 49%. But look, I have that one Lightning Spell left, guys. The King is there. Always bring a Lightning Spell with you. And boom! Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, one star. 14 cups. Again, in this one, we could have got 60 cups, which would have been insane. Uh, but we got all the Dark Elixir, which is important. So, let us go and do one more live raid, my friends. Uh, I'm going to have to use some of my hard-earned gems for it. But that's fine. Let's see if we can get any. Come on, give me some gems, you trunks and trees. 
Are we going to get anything? Do you think? I'm, I'm going to expect six gems from everything. Let's go. Five gems straight out the back with six gems. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven gems. Eleven gems. That's insane. So it's always worth doing is taking down these trees and stuff because you can find some cool stuff in there. It'd be cool if you found like you found one barbarian in the in there <laughs> and he came and helped you out, which would be pretty cool actually. I should so work for Supercell. But anyway, let's gem up these troops and get them raring to go. Um, I think I don't know how more of these I can get. Okay, wait, wait, and. There we go, let's get these, and we're gonna go out and do a live raid, so we are going out, oh, should we go and try, and let's see if we can get any more Avengers, I don't know if we can get any more Avengers, but let's see if we can. Uh, defense log, that's not, I want somebody that's stolen from me, I'm not just going to attack anybody, let's see you, let's see you, yeah, 500, oh man, a Town Hall 9, I don't have a hope in hell, unless, and it's, no, I'm just not going to win that, because all of his Dark Elixir is in the center there, and there's no way I'm going to get into the center to take that out. So, what we'll do, because we haven't got that many troops, we'll go and actually do a, um, we'll just go try and find a live raid that has Dark Elixir out here, rather than doing a revenge, because usually on the revenges, I find them a lot harder, like the troops, uh, the, the people that have attacked me before are actually a lot higher level, which is strange, but... That seems to be how it is. Or people come and take that one thing. So here we go. I haven't got any spells. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. I should have brought some spells for this one. Damn, there's actually quite a nice bit of elixir there as well. And I haven't got any wall breakers. There's no way I'm going to get into there. So what we'll do is we'll spawn them at the top and we'll attack from the top. Um, and we'll see, hopefully, if we attack from the top, we'll... Oh, no, he's got clan castle troops. I was hoping that we'd definitely get a one star from the town hall there. And if we get a one star, I'm thinking maybe I'm just spawning stuff in around the outside as well, just for a bit of fun. And maybe they'll be able to push down and surprise us and get the two star. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I think that's maybe a little bit uh, looking over and thinking thinking out of the box. But maybe. You never know. So, we've got the one star. So, we, we, we're winning. You can see I'm just spawning everybody around the sides now to, to maybe... Like, swap the distractions. And hopefully now, if the archers can take out those mortars... Guys, oh my god, you know what? We can do this! I've just th thought about this and looked at it, and in serious note, we might be able to get a was No! No mortar! Oh, no, 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 come on, come on. Please, get into that dark elixir. Yes! Go on, barbarians! Yes, barbarians! Yes, barbarians! Oh, we are absolutely winning today, guys, and we are so close to getting that king now. Oh, that's amazing. What a good raid this is. Can you believe that? This raid has just just demolished this guy's base. Literally destroyed it. We could even get a three star nearly. We won't we won't be able to. But a two star is very good and I enjoyed that very very much. So I hope you enjoyed the episode guys. If you did, smash the like button down below. Tell me in a comment as well how well I'm doing and how well did you get your king. Also, everybody asking about a QA. and a uh, What I'm going to be doing hopefully this week is I'm going to be doing a, uh, a day in the life of... Of? If that makes sense. So if you like the idea of that as well, hit the like button down below. But until next time, thank you for watching. Peace out.